Hi, this is Ellen Brock, freelance editor. I had a couple of different people request a video about how to make compelling antagonists or villains. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. The main problem that people have when making an antagonist is the opposite of the problem they have when making a protagonist. With the protagonist, writers tend to make a character that is unrealistically perfect and talented and morally correct in every way. And with an antagonist, writers tend to have the opposite problem. They create a character that is unrealistically bad, often with no real reason or motivation, and is very one-dimensional. So what you want to do to make an interesting antagonist is you want to make sure that they have a motivation that makes sense and is logical. Unless your antagonist is mentally insane in some way, they're going to have a valid motivation for their behavior. So that motivation could be protecting their status, it could be defending a kingdom, it could be really anything that any character could be motivated by. It could really be the same types of motivations a protagonist would have. Except instead of responding to it in a positive way, they respond to it in a way that is against the protagonist. They don't even necessarily need to be acting in a way that is bad inherently. It just needs to be going against what the protagonist wants. The other thing that you want to keep in mind is you don't really want to have the antagonist who's just rubbing his hands together all the time thinking like what is the most evil thing I can do right now because that's not really what people are like. Even people who do bad things or consistently do bad things, they don't only do bad things. They also do positive things and generally they also have positive feelings about other people, maybe their friends or family members or whatever. Um, they also probably have hobbies and things they enjoy. They're rarely just all bad. So the best way to create a great antagonist is to give them complexity in the same way you would give to a character who wasn't bad. Another thing that helps a lot when creating a realistic antagonist is to not have rigid black and white ideas of morality because the antagonist probably isn't looking at the situation thinking that they're doing something bad. They're probably looking at the situation that what they're doing is helping to meet a certain goal. Of course, you could have an antagonist that knows full well what they're doing is bad, but they would still have a motivation that they believe is valid. So make sure that there is a consistency there, that the, that the villain really believes in what they're doing and believes that there's a reason that they're doing what they're doing. In terms of how your antagonist fits into the novel as a whole, the antagonist needs to be bad enough that, you, that readers genuinely feel like your protagonist might not win. But they also need to be flawed enough that it seems realistic. So that balance is really what makes an antagonist either fall flat or come across as really interesting and great. So focus on giving your antagonist flaws that are realistic. They can have the same kinds of flaws that a protagonist might have, um, but also make them seem strong in a way that could, would be difficult to overcome. If you have any more questions about how to create a great antagonist, let me know. Or if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment or send me an email. I will put my email at the end of the video along with my website.